Hi guys, this is Lila. Welcome to my channel Lila Webdev. So now in this video we will write, we will learn about the styling of the components. So components can optionally include the CSS styles that apply to that components now. So for example, let's say that here we are having this profile component, right? So which we are trying to check with an example. Here we are having the style URLs. So this is completely optional. If you don't mention the styles also, it's okay. The component will work. So this is an optional one and this is this one so you can mention so there are different ways how we can mention the css so here this is the css which we are trying to write it <coughs> when angular comp so one thing you need to understand that when angular compiles your component like when are you whenever you are trying to deal build like npm run build or ng or anything when angular compiles your component these styles are emitted with your components javascript output so that means this means that component styles participate in the JavaScript module system. Whenever you render an Angular component, the framework automatically includes its associated styles even when the losing loading of a component. So what I am trying to tell is, so here whenever you are trying to add the styles and all those things, automatically whatever the styles you are trying to write it, whenever it is trying to run time in the JavaScript output, it will render here. Okay, yes, it will show the framework automatically includes its associated styles in the javascript output so that is one thing which I, which I want to tell you angular works with any tool that output css including sass less stylus everything it will use it so the important thing which you want to learn right now is the style scoping so what is the style scoping every component has a view encapsulation setting that determines how the framework scopes a component styles so there are three view encapsulation modes for example let's say that here we this is our component and this component or not only this component any component in the angular so you will be having three types of scopes so there is nothing but an encapsulation modes one is an emulated shadow dom and the last one is the none so this one you can specify that one that mode in the components decorator so here you will be having an option something like encapsulation view encapsulation dot none so we will be having different things like uh, view encapsulation dot emulated okay so we need to include this view encapsulation which should be imported from the core dot emulated so you can use this one like emulated so this is the how we need to import it now another thing which i want to explain you that by default angular uses the emulated encapsulation so this is the emulated en encapsulation which the angular uses by default so that a component style only apply to the elements defined in that component template so here we are having this HTML right so whatever the HTML or the classes or the CSS you are writing in this component it will be applied only to this component template only so in this mode the framework gener generates a unique HTML attribute for each component instance so if you try to see here uh, I will try to show you this Lila web dev yeah here so the code when you try to convert it into an emulated mode so the HTML, the whatever what the angler will try to the framework generates a unique in HTML attribute for each component set. adds that attribute to elements in the components template and inserts that attribute into the CSS selectors also if you try to see here the same CSS selector it will insert it here so this is how it will work this board ensures that a component style do not leak out and affect other components however global styles defined outside of a component still affects the elements inside a component with emulated encapsulation so that is one thing so for example let's say that now whatever the thing you are trying to write it for example let's say do classical lila we are having it right if you are having the same thing in app component.html with the do class is equal to lila okay so app component one so if i try to write it like this now if you see the output so for this one it has not the colors has not been applied but the css is one in the same only for example if you try to see here inside this one inside this one so this one is also you are having div dot lila but a unique html attribute has been added which is added both to the element and also to its associated style also it has been applied so that these styles cannot be leaked to the outside of the component so only within the component this will work so this is the default method and the suggested method which you need to use it so that is one thing and this in, the, in this emulated mode angular also supports two major uh, pseudo selectors that is host and the host context so this one is also you need to understand without using the shadow dom during compilation the framework transforms these pseudo classes into the attributes 
Angler's emulated encapsulation mode does not support any other pseudo classes related to the shadow realm such as colon colon shadow or colon colon pot. These are all the things will not be supported. Only host and the host context pseudo selectors are supported. And also you will be having NGDeep also. I will try to explain you those all the things. So another one which I want to explain you is then in view encapsulation dot shadow DOM. So this mode scopes styles with a component by using the web standard shadow DOM API. Now if you try to you convert this one to the um, shadow DOM. Okay, so this also works in the same pretty much same only, but it will use as the browser's native API method that is a shadow DOM. So each one will be having its own scope of say a style. So here it will be having a shadow root DOM will be created and its style will be having. This mode strictly guarantees that only that component styles apply to elements in the here you need to understand that global styles cannot affect elements in a shadow tree and styles inside the shadow tree cannot affect elements outside of the shadow tree. So this one enabling the shadow DOM encapsulation however impacts. <coughs> so this is one thing you need to more impacts more than styling. So rendering the component in a shadow tree affects affects the event propagation also. So be, uh, so when you are trying to use this uh, shadow DOM and all those things. So please remember understand the full implications and you need to use this one. Now the last one which I want to explain you is the view encapsulation dot none. So this is one thing. So now if you try to use this view encapsulation dot none. Now if I try to use this view encapsulation dot none. Now this mode disables all the styles encapsulation for the component. Any styles associated with the component we have as the global style. Now if you if I refresh this page. Now we have applied the div classes called lila only in the component right. Now you will not have any attributes or anything directly the CSS class doesn't have any HTML unique attribute that has been applied to this one. Now if you try if you see here div dot lila are directly applied and if I use the same class anywhere in the angular so not only in the outside if I use it in anywhere in the components or outside the components anywhere if I use it automatically the styles will be applied. So just it will behave as a global styles only. Now if you want to check the global styles and all those things so you will be having a styles dot CSS. Here, whatever the thing you will try to mention it. So these these things will be applied automatically. So here color blue if I try to write it. Now this one will be applied automatically. Now this blue is applying auto, uh, it's not applying why because it's getting uh, replaced with the CSS. This is nothing but color blue violet. Now the, that global CSS will be affected to all the guys. But when I change it to emulated one here or otherwise anything shadow DOM or anything shadow DOM global styles will not work. Now only the blue color got affected why because that blue color blue was in the global style and here what I want to tell you is the background color has not been affected to this one why because it's an emulated unique one will be generated. Now let's try to see the shadow DOM also whether that global styles will be affected or not. So now if you try to see the global styles is not affected to this uh, components one but here for this one it has been affected why because that style is a global style but the globally written styles is not does not affects the component shadow DOM one. So this is also one of the important thing you need to understand. So this is these are the different ways of styles uh, scoping in the component one is the emulated one the other one is the shadow DOM one and the last one is the none. So these three, three, three things I think you understood about this one. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.